But as a physician, what we need to do is uh, physicians of different disciplinaries, such as endocrinologists, such as vascular, general surgery, orthopedics, internal medicine. We have to find a way to come together in these hospitals. I feel a lot of times we lose patients, especially the patients that have, may get a diabetic foot infection. We lose those patients in the ER. Either those patients have waited too long to come to see a doctor, or they get to the ER, and a lot of times, uh, a guy like me, a physician like me who's foot and ankle, may not get consulted because they may figure that it's too far gone. But you may, you may not know until you refer to that specialist who does this every day, who sees it every day. And so therefore, we also have to bring exposure and awareness to our medical colleagues. You know, an ER physician may think, oh, that can't be handled. And the next thing we need to do is just go and amputate. But I think a lot of times it takes only a self second to make a phone call to get that doctor there, especially if that doctor's on staff, especially if that doctor's on call. It's to make that phone call to the particular specialist and let that particular specialist kind of navigate and direct who's the next person or who's the next uh, discipline of medicine to call. There may be a situation where if I see something I call, I can refer to a vascular surgeon. Well, look, let me see that circulation status. Let's see if it's good or bad. And if it's good, we can go this route. If it's bad, we choose a different alternative. And then we, and what we're doing is we're building that relationship, but we're also making the patient feel comfortable and confident in the treatment process because they're coming in and not just seeing one doctor. They're seeing a multitude of doctors. So if they mentally feel comfortable, that can go a long way with also the proper healing.